Hi all of you, hope you guys are great. So this is where we left in the last video. We have refactored the entire functionality of creating NFT, retrieving data, updating, deleting. Okay, so we have connected with our database and we are trying to create and we have created the document or data in our database. Okay, so make sure if you haven't watched that video, I will link an eye button in the description so you can follow that. Okay, so this is where we left in the last video and from here we're going to start working on in our NFT model. Okay. So this is the basic model we have designed and this is now we're going to make it more robust because our nft or will contain a lot of information okay a lot of information so that's the model we have to define here so right now this model can take only three data name rating and price but we have to add more field in this so let's right start working on it okay so we'll come here we're going to take this duration and again i'm telling you that this is the api we are building it's a general one okay so i found these fields compatible for all type of applications so that's why i'm building as a general model but later we're going to convert it into our nft marketplace okay so let's take this duration and the reason why i have taken this duration variable here in the model because i assuming that you can use this api for education purpose e-commerce online learning platform where you can display the duration of the particular course or maybe you have a travel agency where you provide touring service okay you send people on vacation on certain packages so, okay so where we'll have the duration as well okay so that's purpose i just try to make it as general as possible so you can convert into a letter part but we're going to convert it at the end once we build the entire api we're going to convert into our actual nft marketplace okay so in this way you can learn everything so we'll take a duration and it's going to be a type string and we'll take this required field and here we said true and we have to send the message so we'll say uh, must provide a duration duration and let's add a one more which is going to be max group size so maybe if you are providing some sort of offer in a group okay or maybe you are sending people on vacation in a group or maybe you are selling course in a group okay so that's the field for that okay so max group size so if we can type is going to be let's say number obviously and we have to make it to let's say required and it's going to be a true and we have to display the name message sorry must have a group size so that's the one and we have to take let's say we can take another one what else we left it's a difficulty okay so maybe you have a course and you want to show the difficulty level of that course okay so for that we have this field so it's gonna be let's say um, this difficulty will have couple of types okay so it's gonna be let's say um, string and it is required and we'll say must have difficulty this is the one more and let's come here and we have to simply copy and paste here we have all this data we have designed that's what we're going to use it so let's come here and that's what we have here let's come go to this and simply check the spelling because i'm really bad with that so let's create this average rating rating is and convert that rating to a rating average okay now let's come here we have this rating quantity and gonna be a number and we have to set the default is to zero now that's the rating and this is the rating quantity and what else we need let's come here we have to create take the summary so summary we have here type is going to be string and this is going to be let's say we have to use this trim property so if anybody add a space like this so we don't want to trim it down and we have to take only text okay so we have this trim property and we want to add the trim property in the name as well because we don't want the user should add extra space and simply take this duration and check a spelling so the place with this do the same thing with the max group size check the spelling and do this to the difficulty as well so all spellings are good so that's looking fine and we'll come here we'll take the price discounts okay so we're going to do this calculation for the discount okay so we want to offer some sort of discount so for that we having this fill so number is going is going to be a number and we have that now we'll come down here we'll make the summary to required We'll say true and we'll say must provide the summary we'll come here we'll 
come back to the description and we'll take that description and we'll have a description for the, our nft we'll copy and paste here and it's not going to be required because it's totally up to the user okay so that's the description we have we have to take the images so our nft will have a background images cover images so that's the image and we'll store it in the form of string okay and the reason why I'm saving the images in our database in the form of a string because it's not always a good idea that you should store the entire image into a database. Okay, so we just save the name of that image and we'll display the images from our file system. That will make sense. Just follow along with me. So that's what we have here. Now we'll make it required. So they should have to add the images. Provide, must provide the cover image okay that looks fine and now we have this image okay so one nft can have multiple images or one service can have multiple images okay so you can take in that so it's gonna be an arrow array and we'll say string so that's the image we have now we have to take this created ad and here we go to do the calculation so we want to display the time of that particular created nft okay so let's create the time for that so we'll have a time we'll call this date dot and here we have to set the default date it's going to be date dot now so if the user provide the date it's okay if they don't provide then we're going to add the default date which is the current time of creating so that's looking fine this is a created tag and here we have to take the start date okay so if some sort of if we are providing some sort of offering in case of nft we are providing a uh, offering that this nft is available at this discount price for this time period okay so that's what we have here so we'll take this date and that's the model we have to build here it's going to be an array so it can have multiple dates okay this all will make sense when we'll create the document so these are the data we want to take and we need actually more so that's the simple data structure okay things are looking good now we have all these data in the sample data and that's all we are taking simply copy this one because this is the exact field we have in the model and simply delete this one and now we're going to copy and simply paste here all the data simply cut this one and paste the data from our sample at the nft file okay and simply remove this comma and we have to simply remove this id because this id will create it automatically what else we have so we have all these data and our database currently have nothing we have deleted all the document and we are creating from fresh so looking fine now hit the request and here we got some sort of error okay so something things went wrong let's come back to the database refresh it okay it's fetching data and we come here and that looks good we don't have any problem let's open up the terminal here and if we roll up the browser we are getting some sort of warning okay my bad somehow the internet connection got disconnected so that's why we were getting the error and now it will work okay so make sure you restart the browser it will work now we can send the request and boom here you can see finally we have created the entire data with our model and you will find all these data right up here you can see it has id it has the images dates and it has the id everything we have in that you can see it's looking absolutely perfect so the data field is got filled max group size so things are looking absolutely incredible and here you can see i am from middleware function so the middleware is also working and this is the exact data we have in our database so this is the exact data simply copy this and simply replace this one and let's create one more remove this comma and now remove this id and now let's create one more hit enter and here you can see we have created one more so it's looking perfect let's come back to the get all nft and let's make the request so if you make the request and here we have the two result and all the nfts all the data okay that's looking fine here we have the start dates all the property we have defined that's all automatically getting inserted into our database through the model if we come here and if we refresh here we have the data so i hope you guys are really appreciating this you will find all these data in the start date images so here in our database we are just saving the reference of the images we are saving the name of the images we are not saving the image 
but we are saving the image name okay so let's come back to the code and that's looking fine everything's looking great here so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have learned something new and this is a very simple model we're going to make it more robust okay because our nft marketplace needs a lot of data and a lot of calculation we need to do before we actually save the data into our database okay so that's what we're going to do in the letter part as gradually we'll work on this api in the next video we're going to write a one small fun little script which allow us to deploy the entire data to our database so right now you can see we have data into our data json file in the sample data and i just want to deploy this entire data to our database so we can do the testing so that's what we're going to do in the next video